Father Giovanni, how can you stay here instead of returning to Italy and giving the people there something of the faith which you are now inspiring in me? Ah, Professor, you do not understand man's psyche as well as you know archaeology. Faith cannot be given to men. Faith is not the result of thinking. It comes from direct knowledge. For example, if my own brother were to entreat me to give him a tenth part of my understanding, I could not. As he has neither the knowledge nor the experience which I have acquired in my life. This would be like wishing to fill someone with bread merely by looking at him. There is a law the quality of what you understand depends upon the quality of the person speaking. In our order, we have two very old brethren. The one is called Brother Al, the other Brother Says. They constantly travel from one monastery to another preaching there. Once or twice a year they come to us. This is always a very great event. When Brother Sir speaks, it is like the song of the birds in paradise. Brother Al's speech has almost the opposite effect. He speaks badly and indistinctly. The stronger the impression made by Brother Says, the quicker it evaporates until there is nothing left. Brother Al makes almost no impression. But what he says penetrates into the heart and remains there. So we all came to the conclusion that the sermons of Brother Says came entirely from his mind and acted only on our minds. Whereas those of Brother Al came directly from his being and acted on our being. Yes, Professor. Thinking and knowing are quite different. One must strive to know. This alone can lead to our Lord God. 